Yeah, I showed my last video the adapter I found, the S 360 18, which is working great with the drill. And I, <laughs> I tried it out yesterday with, on video. That's on low, and we'll put it on high. And then it was that 22 torque. And the gloves are warming up. You have no problem with your torque aspect with this with this um, adapter. Now, I um, was chatting. I would show everybody that I put a cover over the electrical. Here's a close up of what I did. I got a tin box. It was a T box, and cut it here and here and up here and there, and then squeezed it down and sold, resoldered it. I cut out for the air vents so there's no issue with air coming into the unit. And I put two holes here for screws but I decided not to use them because they may hit the card and the side ones are, can be a little longer so I put two side screws in. They were already threaded there on the box. Um, epoxied uh, the power cable in so it doesn't move and epoxied this in just to keep it firm. You know if you pull it or anything nothing will happen. There's the uh, new footings, and I just epoxy those on. They're not going to come off. The air passes underneath, so it keeps it cool on the vents here. So it's all set, ready to go. There isn't much else to do with the box itself. Um, with the drill, I'll most likely put some weight in here somehow now, and make it so it's not so light here. It's a little light. And you know, so you're, you've got a little bit of weight here when you actually have weight here. So it's a little bit on the wrist if you were doing long time. It's lighter drill though, so I'm pleased with that. So, Anyways, there it is. It's all working great. And I'm having no problems at all. So it's all ready to go. I'm also going to add a couple more plugins here, which you can do. And then I will use, uh, which are coming by eBay, the plugins. I can't find it right now. I'm in a bit of a mess. Let's leave that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I bought some of these, but I've got more coming male and females. And I will put those in and have plugins as well so we can plug in and out different drills and that. So, what I'm going to do is uh, make my battery the same weight, close, uh, maybe a little bit lighter. Then the original batteries in here, so that when I'm on this on this unit with the um, the mains, that it sits strongly. So I'm just going to basically put it on a weighing scale up here. It's on zero with this mix bowl on it, which is going to be our dream tub, which is going to be no advertising, which is going to be my mix for my grout. Now it says two and the one two pounds roughly. I might go a little bit lighter just to save on your wrist and that. So I might go a little bit lighter with the mix and uh, pour it in here, let it dry, and let's see if it works. Yeah, so I poured in the mix just under 1.8, and I'll add some water to it, which will give it a bit more weight. I could have gone a little lighter. I might go to 1.5 or 1.4 because of the water. So I used some leftover grout. And it's come with water in it to a pound and a half. There it is mixed. And now I'm just going to, let's get this out of the way so you can see. Now I'm just going to fill this into the battery unit here and let it harden. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm just going to fill it into the battery unit. Give myself some extra weight, you know. And that should balance my drill out again. That yeah, looks a little crazy, all right. Uh, to be an inventor, you have to be a little crazy, anyways, or to push boundaries. I'm not saying that this is the right way to do it or anything, I'm just saying this is a test. <laughs> Cementing your drill, what's next? I think I got a little cleanup to do afterwards. It's getting full in there. I'm just going to finish filling it and show it to you. 
So I made it as full as I can. I'm just cleaning out the screw holes so that the top goes back on. There was a little bit less. I'm lucky I didn't mix more. I kind of thought that might happen. And I'm just going to clean out this edge here for where the drill comes together, wipe it a bit, and we're done. We'll let it dry. It's a fair bit of weight. It's not as heavy, I don't think, as that one, but as the original. But it'll do. So let's see how this works, right? There we go. We'll let it dry like that. I won't be taking my wire out soon again, I don't think. But, you know, these drills are like a dime a dozen. They're like five bucks nowadays. So there we go. We've got another uh, thing. This is my shop drill, actually. I'm using it for my shop. I hang it beside my workbench, which has become very handy.